think the ethos um, of EDGE is really important. It stands for ecologically distinct and globally endangered. I think everything it stands for is important to helping protect artists and helping them thrive. It's the first time and the first new initiative that they're running where they're activating multiple spaces over the sort of the council area. And this is sort of the inner west stamp going, hey, we're doing things here and we're, you know, we've got the highest percentage of artists living in, in the inner west and this is our festival and it sort of, you know, it, it shines that beacon. I think the inner west does support me to do my best creative work because I'm constantly inspired by the amount of people that are also doing work. And this is part of why Edge Greenway and the Inner West Council is um, doing something amazing by sort of shining a spotlight in all these little communities. It really helps to bring up one point and then everyone can sort of be seen from that. Dean, an important aspect about the, the Edge event is the way it's uh, bringing the community together and getting them to experience art in kind of unusual spaces and also artists from such diverse kind of um, backgrounds and practices. So there's going to be a whole plethora of kind of uh, visual arts uh, and performances. So I think it really gives a real kind of snapshot of what's going on in the inner west and the possibilities of art and the possibilities for the community to, to, engage, to engage in culture and the environment in a really kind of amazing kind of space. I think we all find ourselves sometimes being pushed out of the city, um, especially when you're working with artworks and forms of art that maybe are a little more experimental or weird. It's really great to have the local councils supporting artists. I don't want to have to go overseas to make art. I don't want to have to go to uh, another city to make the kind of art or to make art in my community and so I'm really happy to be able to make art with the people that I live with in the everyday because those are the stories that I experience in my everyday and that translate most readily to my art making. We use our creativity and artistry to tell really important stories that are nationally significant but our home is always the inner west so we're telling them from here.